To begin your day, like truly the very start, when your eyes are still fluttering open before you reach for your phone or you know jump out of bed, stay with yourself in the bed and place your left hand in your heart and your right hand on your lower belly and start to connect right away with your breath and breathing into your heart, excuse me, your heart center and ask your heart because that's really where we want to be living from and, and opening up that intelligence and that ancient wisdom and that intuition that re resides there. That's truly the most potent and powerful place um, that we can live from. So connecting your breath with your heart and asking your heart at least two questions before you get out of bed. I usually start with my beautiful heart. How are you feeling right now? And I mean, imagine, you know, mm -hmm. starting your day from that connection point uh, because your heart may be needing to tell you something that you don't even know is, is going on in there. Mm -hmm. It may say that it's feeling some rage or frustration or, or whatever. And then from that place, you can ask it why and, and, and what does it need for, for that um, feeling to feel fully expressed so that it can be uh, shifted into a place of, of greater ease. So ask your heart at least a couple of questions. How are you? And if you're trying to bring in more joy into your life, ask your heart, my beautiful heart, what do you want to experience to feel more joy today? And it will answer. So because that's that's our intuition right there. So that that will start to get you more uh, in unification and synced up um, with the wisdom. And I also always recommend having an altar space and altars don't have to be complex or extravagant. It can literally be your favorite river rock that you found on a walk you took and a tea light candle. It's just, it's a place in your home that signifies and represents, this is my safe space to remember, to feel, to reconnect, to to start to receive those those informations the last thing i'll say is if the surrender aspect resonates with you um, i used to have an online course that had nine different shamanic journeys and one of them was a surrender specific one that had a surrender statement but you can come up with your own surrender statement if you want to start to cease your suffering and get out of your own way and start to commune more with the benevolent unseen realms just jot down, you know, a couple of sentences to whoever it is you speak to, whether it's universe, source, God, goddess, whatever it is, and say, you know, you express your willingness to great mother earth and your soul and those other um, places you connect with. C talk out loud from your altar and from your heart that you're ready to um, begin to, to receive their messages.